Is this pandemic a tipping point where we're shifting from the Wall Street loving Keynesian economics to the less loved Austrian economy? Because these are two very different opposing philosophies. And you know, maybe this is a very a high time where we are shifting in the economics philosophy that has been grounded and moving the financial market for the longest time. It seems like we are starting to love deflationary monetary policy, not just as a, as a medium of exchange, but more of a store of value. If you read the article published by Bloomberg on Paul Tudor Jones talking about how Bitcoin is the new gold, where he is looking to use Bitcoin as a store of value to hedge against the financial market, then maybe we're shifting from, we're shifting from this whole constant inflationary 2% growth every year to something a bit more, a bit more deflationary in, in aspect, like gold and like Bitcoin. Three things that, that are, that's going to change. The first one is there is a shift in Bitcoin being seen as a store of value than a medium of exchange. When Bitcoin first started, it was used as, it was, you know, kind of used as a medium of exchange, but now as it reach mainstream, uh, mainstream media or mainstream use cases or mass adoption, the shift has changed. It's probably not used as a medium of exchange anymore. You don't really see that many people exchanging in Bitcoin, but more buying Bitcoin as, a, as part of your investment strategy to hedge against whatever that you are betting against or betting for. So there is a shift in that. And what does that mean? You know, if we start looking at Bitcoin as a, as a store value instead of a medium of exchange or a, means of, a unit of account, that might change the whole structure of how Bitcoin is going to be seen moving forward. And when more people start to believe that it's a good store of value, then the prices will definitely go up and more people will kind of hoard it to increase the value or hoard it as a store of value instead. The second thing is, this is a huge push to digital currencies. And I know a lot of people are talking about it. And this is where central bank really needs to step up to look more into CBDC, look more into regulation of, of digital currencies. And you, you know, you probably have heard uh, Libra just had just, just hired this new CEO, and he's like really big in the whole regulation space. And you know that Libra is very big into regulation. So central bank needs to start step up to understand what the future of digital currency is, how to manage that, how to regulate that, and how to manage privately issued currencies. Because that's going to be the, the next change. It's not going to be techno technological innovation and your tech, your tech department or innovation department trying to push for this this um, new growth or new new jump, but it's really the pandemic pushing us towards this new norm. Changing the world as we know it, it's changing what no normal or normality is. In 2021, I really wonder what normality looks like, and I'm trying to look, I'm trying to write a paper on that, but that's a different story. I will link two articles below. One is on Paul Tudor Jones talking about Bitcoin, and one more will be on Bitcoin halving. Bitcoin halving is going to, it's coming in the next two days, I think. And we have seen also Bitcoin jumping to $10,000 finally in quite, uh, after a long time. So it'd be interesting to see where this is going, how people react to this kind of like governance in place, because these are fixed governance by the algorithms where it, could, it will keep having every four years. And it's, it has a deflationary monetary policy impact to this entire governance rule. And it's very interesting to see how people react to that. So stay tuned. I think I will probably do a, a short like special video on halving soon in the next maybe tomorrow or today and i will post it and let you know so comment below what you want to read about or what you want to watch about and i will look forward to addressing that till then i'll see you in the next video bye